Hi, this is Michael Ben Jacobson, Michael Benjamin Jacobson, Matthew Robert Payne, different names, different games. B, the change the world needs. So this is going to be uh, a little uh, rendition, a little teaching on why did I come out with, uh, why did I come up with that title for T-shirt? Um, what does that mean? I want to share with you that <clears throat> I sat down for about three sittings to write the first initial 200 texts <coughs> for the T-shirt. I wrote about three a minute. Uh, every 10 or 20 seconds I wrote another one. Uh, so I wrote this really fast, but I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm going to give you some understanding on be the change the world needs. You know, all significant change. You like this music? Just downloaded this music, found where I got the last piece of music for free, and uh, downloaded another piece. Uh, that's a good backing music. I love backing music. So, um, it's very interesting. I got something in my tooth. Every new thing, every creation, every new technology, someone steps up and creates it. Uh, uh, you can find uh, new technologies, new creations, new inventions. They are the change the world needs. Uh, the things that take traction uh, are the things uh, that uh, the world uh, feels it needs uh, as people buy it, as it becomes popular. There's a lot of people inventing and creating products that are unknown. There's many people in boxing gyms, in boxing. There are unknown fighters. Um, there's many actors and actresses who could star in a good role in, in the Hollywood film, but never have the opportunity to. We're foolish if, if we think that we see the best. Uh, we're we're um, misguided, I imagine. Uh, we're blinded by... Uh, by how the world plays out. Um, the best singers uh, haven't recorded an album. The best boxers haven't fought a heavyweight title. Uh, the best uh, screenplay writers haven't had a screenplay made. The best actors could be undiscovered. The best musicians, uh, the best poets uh, have just got books of poetry that they've got in journals. Uh, the best non-fiction writers about Christianity probably just got manuscripts sitting at home. Uh, so it's not about uh, creating that uh, uh, makes you popular. It's not about um, the actual creative process that makes you stand out. Uh, sometimes it takes good fortune. Sometimes it's luck. Luck. Luck is the root word for Lucifer. So sometimes Lucifer's got to step in and make you popular. And he does do that. He appears to people, people when they're signing up for a record deal or a contract as a movie uh, actor, they, they sell their soul uh, to Satan. And he promises everything to him. But, um, we need, really need to be the change uh, that the world needs. I, I know uh, I've been studying uh, Todd White and uh, showing uh, people Todd White and doing a series of teachings uh, by Todd White on, on prophetic evangelism, on how to approach people, how to uh, demonstrate the love of Jesus through interactions and, and, and through being with people. He hasn't got so many encounters captured on video. 
because he didn't record the ones that didn't work. Feel that I would learn a lot from some that didn't go over so well. But he takes the camera out and records them. Now that could be different in the United States, people in Australia, when a camera is out, they, they sort of get nervous and they, they don't want to be part of it. So I'm not sure I'll ever be on camera doing what I'm doing, but uh, you know, the people in this world, they just need someone to be nice. They just need someone to be hospitable. They just need someone to compliment them and have compassion. When someone's serving behind the counter uh, at your local uh, shop where you buy your groceries, what's wrong with asking them how their day is? Uh, asking them when they started, how long they've got uh, to go to work and uh, ask them what's the good thing that uh, you spent some of your money on uh, last time? What's the treat that you bought yourself? You might find with a question like that, there is no treat. So all they do is pay university bills or all, all their life is paying bills. You can ask them if they enjoy their time at work, do they enjoy the money the most? Do they enjoy the interaction with customers? Uh, do I stand out as a customer? Do you have many customers that are regulars that you know? Uh, do you like building relationships with customers? How hey, you think of it, they'll answer it. What's wrong with being different? What's wrong with uh, standing out? What's wrong with having no pressure on yourself, but changing, uh, changing yourself, uh, getting your eyes off yourself and your focus and what you want, getting your eyes on other people. Um, asking people questions and actually not fudging and not trying to make up, but trying to uh, demonstrate the answer to them, trying to find the answer. <coughs> if they ask you a question and you don't know the answer, you can say, I can ask my spiritual friend, I'm going to consult my pastor uh, and see what that answer is. Uh, asking people if they've got any needs or worries or concerns and can you pray for them? Um, there's many ways that you can be the change that the world needs to change. You know, the world, the world definitely needs someone paying attention to people, someone with a loving heart, someone who's an active demonstration of Jesus everywhere they are. You know, Todd White's videos, uh, watching him do prophetic evangelism, they're not just for show. They're not just to show you, uh, look what Todd White can do. They're there to demonstrate, they're there to be an example they're there to, sh there to showcase what you can do. Can, can you be a change? You don't have to learn how to prophesy. You don't have to learn how to get a word of knowledge and uh, tell uh, th specific things about a person that you couldn't possibly know. Of course, um, this will be in a playlist of prophetic evangelism made simple, but uh, you don't have to learn how to prophesy uh, to change people's lives, to be the change that the world needs. Um, but, um, you know, anyone, anyone listening to this video, anyone uh, listening to this uh, teaching can be a change that the world needs. Uh, do, do some people need more money? Do some people need more answers? Do some people need more solutions? Do some people need someone to listen to, someone to... Uh, be nice to them. Do, do some people need um, to understand the Christianity you believe in? Uh, can you describe your Christian faith? Can you describe your life? Can you can you <coughs> demonstrate uh, what you know? That, uh, are there people who uh, you've trained in in college or university or trained in your job to do your job? Uh, are there people that could benefit with your knowledge? Could you? do a series of videos? Could you write a book? Could you teach people how, how to get the most out of your occupation, how to excel at your occupation? What if you did it for free? What if you did a series of 30 hours teaching people how to be the best person that you are in, in your occupation? Uh, what, what would that cost you? You know, 30 hours of sitting down in front of video. 
what if only 10 people watched it? Uh, would that be worth it, changing 10 people's lives? Um, I'm sure when Todd uh, films what he does and got an example and explain what he does on a playlist called Unpacking God What. So you can watch it, but what if he, he, he doesn't mind if only five people see it or 10 people are affected? What if his attitude is more, well, I'm gonna record this for that one person that goes through all my videos and just doesn't get entertained by my videos, but actually picks themselves up and uh, manifests Jesus and copycats what I'm doing. What if, what if his attitude isn't about him, it isn't about money, it is about, isn't about changing uh, people that he interacts with uh, face to face in so much as just demonstrating Jesus and being a love, being, being a place and a person of love everywhere he goes. What if he really doesn't have an agenda to save people and convert people to Christianity? What if his agenda is just to uh, demonstrate and plant seeds of the gospel by demonstrating the character of Jesus? I know that's his chief aim. I know that he's not in the business of trying to convert people uh, he's not in the business of trying to steer them towards his religion because that's all religion is, is a set of rules and it's not very nice and it's not very exciting. So can you uh, think of a reason? Can you think of something you can do? Can you see, uh, can you think of a way that you can be the change that the world needs? Uh, uh, maybe your first step might be uh, to go to my website that you can find in the description tag and order yourself five or ten of my t-shirts. You can remember that um, uh, my, the post, the postage on my website is twenty dollars, uh, and that can seem excessive and expensive, but it's not when you order five or ten shirts and it's still twenty dollars. So I encourage you, um, you know, share this video, like this video, comment on this video. Go to my website and buy some shirts that relate to you, God bless.